previously in my Backpacking Across Europe series. We are in Berlin. We booked another free walking tour. We got a nice to-go beer. This is our new friend, Pedro. Uh, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> It's the next morning. We made it to the train. Barely. Um, I slipped in a little bit. It's fine. We had to run through the train station with all of our backpacks. So, some good little workout this morning at what time? 7 14. Huh? So, it was like 6 30 a.m. We got like this little thing that looks like it's out of Harry Potter. Just took like a two hour nap. And I woke up and there's all these really cute buildings outside and it looks like we're in Switzerland. We made it, oh my gosh, it's so washed out right now, to Prague. We talked to this really cool guy for like an hour because he came and sat in here with us. He said he's from Ukraine, he's studying in Prague. To be a doctor, he said everything's very, very cheap here. Check. Chakronas. Chakronas is like the currency here. It's like 25 chakronas is equal to like one euro. We made it in. We made it. Yeah. This is the key. <laughs> I don't know how to open up doors. Well, this was supposed to be a cool shot, but <laughs> it didn't really work out. <laughs> Here is the door from the front door. We've got a little kitchen, a little seating place, and then here is the bedroom. Oh my god, look at this. This is gonna be interesting. They have a good day! I need to look up how to use this. So, I just got a little freshened up. Spencer is taking a shower, and then we are going to go out and get some food. And I'm very excited because this city is very cheap, and I'm very hungry. I really like this little window. It's so cute. This whole little city is so cute. I'm very excited. They have fried spring rolls with mock packing duck. Never seen that before. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Here is the duck spring rolls. Here is the fried sushi and oh, um, bao bao oyster. Oh yeah, bao bao oyster. I'm gonna try the sushi. Should I just use my fingers? I like it a lot. Like, it's really good. Better get one of those bow buns over there. Boy. You are gonna get one. So yummy. Okay, now I'm gonna try the bow bun. Does it taste like oyster to you? It tastes yeah. good. Mm -hmm. But is it accurate to what oysters taste like? No. It's not accurate, but I wouldn't know. The texture and the consistency is not the flavor. We are now we headed now to go, headed find, to a go find a dessert place. You just want to vlog? You just want to vlog? The dessert place is right next to the church. This is the dessert we got. This is like called Beezy or Beze. I have no idea and I don't know what that is either. I like chocolate cake. You know what? Where are we, Spencer? Tell the people where we are. <laughs> We're at the Prague Beer Museum. Cool. Gastro pub. We ordered some like pickled Czech cheese that comes with this bread. We're waiting for the cheese and then also some onion rings. Some, yeah. We literally just ate. Like 30 minutes ago. Yeah. It's On fine. top of the dessert that we just had. This looks so funny. 
<laughs> All right, so we got a big old flight. And then we got beer battered onion rings. And this is the pickled cheese. Tastes like the um, garlic dip that my great grandma used to make. Is that why you love garlic sauce so much? Probably. I don't think this cheese is gonna spread. <laughs> Tastes like beer cheese. Well, you don't like it? Hell no. Really? I like the onion rings. Do you like that? I think it tastes delicious. So we came back and took a nap. We're now awake again. It is 7-12. 7 12 p.m. My mom just texted me. She's starting to freak out about coronavirus, and now I'm starting to get nervous about coronavirus. And she's saying we shouldn't go to Italy, which I really, really, really want to go to Italy. Like, Italy and Paris are the places that I'm most excited to go. Based on all the science, like, we would be fine. It's just the fact that, like, all the media is still kind of stressing me out and just keeps talking about the death tolls. Also, they could end up holding us at the border for like two weeks if they want to. I really don't want to miss going to Italy. Like, I don't know when I'm going to get the chance next. So, like, I don't want to miss it. But also, I don't want to get sick. <clears throat> Anyways, we're just going to go walk around now. Can I go see the Prague Castle at night? And a couple other things. Uh. Let's go. little chimney cake spots which I didn't even know existed till just now. I really want to eat them but Spencer says no because we already ate a lot today so. Oh my god. No, we're gonna get one later. <laughs> I wanted to have a go <laughs> It's so beautiful, I want to cry with happiness. We're leaving the something Vita Cathedral. Now we are hungry and we're gonna go get a snack. We saw a lot of like street food on our way over here, so I kinda wanna go get some of that. We made it to the Old Town Square. You can see the astronomical astrological clock. astronomical clock I don't know what this is we got hot wine and, and a chimney cake okay hot wine kind of smells like apple juice <laughs> what the hell let me try ew 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 it tastes like blood it tastes really good actually yeah it's like hot cider almost it has like an iron taste to it though I feel like I'm drinking blood <laughs> it does it's good. I don't like it this is about to be me and Spencer in Italy Ooh. Spencer and I are getting a late start to the day. It's like 12. We woke up like two hours ago and got ready, but I guess we were just kind of dilly dallying. I was watching stuff about like coronavirus, and there's this girl I found a video on YouTube where she was talking about her study abroad program because she's studying in Italy. It ended with her program sending her home. 
so people are really freaking out about coronavirus i'm not trying to like freak out and like read like headlines that are gonna scare me like i'm really trying to like read facts about it and like actually like know what is really going on barcelona and like paris they're also starting to have big outbreaks so i feel like by the time i get to those countries those are going to be closed off too it's really bumming me out and i know that people are sick and people are dying and the world does not revolve around me me not being able to go to italy is not the worst thing to come out of coronavirus i'm waiting for spencer because he's still dilly dallying we're gonna go get food now we have a walking tour booked for today so i'm excited for that on the bright side it's a nice day out Eating my noodles at yeah. Old Times Square. So we uh, dipped out the tour because our tour guide wasn't, wasn't the, best. the best at all. So we're gonna go explore on our own. Yay. One interesting we did learn though was that the chimney cakes that we tried yesterday technically are not really from Czech. They were actually stolen from Hungary. We're gonna go look at the market now. Got some strawberries from the market and now we are going to go back to the cathedral and see if we can go inside. We're doing the walk again. Up the stairs. Here's the cathedral during the day. Still beautiful, but I kind of prefer it at night. Same. We got a little glass of wine for the view. Wow, you can almost kind of depict faces really well. Wait, which bridge? All the way down there? Yeah. Holy shit. Dude, you can kill someone from that part. Easy. I have no idea what these things are Potato. called, but Potato. we got them. He got cheese and ketchup, and his looks a lot better than mine, but I'm scared to eat cheese because last time I ate cheese here, my stomach really hurt. So. I got the plain one, but I wish they would have given me ketchup. We just ate at this vegan restaurant. It was called Forky. Yeah. And it was like completely <laughs> vegan and they had so many different options and it was really good. It was also really cheap. <laughs> um, we also met this family while we were in there because their little kid was just like running around everywhere and then Spencer decided to like befriend him. But the mom and the dad came over. They gave us a bunch of recommendations. Just in there. So we're about to. I'm laughing so much right now. <laughs> I don't know why I can't stop laughing. <laughs> stop it. I don't know what we're doing now, but you'll know what we're doing in the next clip. <laughs> Me. Time to go get lit.
26 in the morning and we are now headed home. <laughs> so it's 5 p.m. We are just now about to leave. We stayed up very, very, very late last night or you could say late this morning. We basically slept all day today. We were going to go out again tonight with the same people, but I don't really feel like wasting another day because tomorrow is our last day in Prague. I don't mind partying two days in a row. I just don't want to sleep in on our last day. Before we go out, we are assessing the damage from last night. I kept track of all the drinks that we bought on my phone, so now we're going to add it up and see how much we really spent on alcohol. 172 yesterday. So 172 was not the amount we spent on drinks. That was how much we spent all day. Two nights here, a big breakfast, all the drinks, all the snacks we had, and dinner. And our budget is 100 a day. It's not bad at all. No, it's not. potato fry and barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. It really does taste like I'm eating sushi. decided to go out again which ended exactly how we thought it would. I know that if we go out tonight we're probably gonna probably do the exact same, same thing. thing. And this is all the footage that I got. Hey. Oh. Introduce hey. yourselves. We are French guys <laughs> from Grenoble. <laughs> My name is Alex. He's Jordan. 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 Dab. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I wanna vlog. Do it. Everyone bought me shots. So it's about three o'clock in the morning. We're currently walking back to uh, the tram to get to our place after partying. And, Everyone kept buying me shots. And it was really fun. I uh, met a couple people there, made some new friends. We're gonna go get some breakfast and then we're gonna go meet up with the same guys as yesterday and go do a little sightseeing for our last day in Prague. I put a little ribbon in my hair today. It's right there, it's a ribbon. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it's a little pink building. Mency Shrinky. Okay, let's go. explore a few more things and we gotta go back to the Airbnb and clean up because we made a mess in there and then we're gonna meet them again for dinner just to hang out one last time before we leave tomorrow it is now one in the morning we gotta wake up early tomorrow to finish packing and check out. Spencer really wanted to try this beer called what? Maliko. Maliko. It's it's a it's a pour. It's like a milk pour off of a beer. But we're gonna go get that for him so he doesn't regret it for the rest of his life. And <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping this place is open so I can get ramen. It's open. Now I can get ramen. Let's go. It's like all phone. All phone. Okay. It's like just like wet foam. It tastes delicious. Really? Yeah, try it. I don't like beer, but I'll try it. 
<laughs> I thought it was gonna blow over pretty fast, but as we can see, I was very wrong.